Hey, hi, welcome back to a new vlog. Cheers to a brand new day. Don't let my Halloween mug fool you. I use this mug all year round. Mike and I got this at Home Goods like a couple years ago. I don't know. There's a whole long story about these mugs, but we don't have time today because this is the third time I've tried to film this intro. I don't know what it is. Today I hit record and I just keep talking, 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 and my intros were like 10 minutes long, and we're not gonna do that because I don't want this vlog to take over your life. I was going through vlog footage that I filmed in August. If you don't know, Mike and I finally had our wedding reception. It was September 16th. We've been married since June 4th of 2021, but with COVID we like couldn't have our party. So our party happened. That was like kind of consuming our lives. And so I haven't had a chance to really edit and upload and get as much content out as I want. So the vlogs that I had originally recorded were all from August. I was going through them today. Some of them made the cut. Some of them did not. Whichever one made the cut, you will have seen already. I was just like in a really dark space in August. My anxiety was through the roof and like very much teetering on depression and I don't want to label it because I just find that like mental health is very different for everyone so I don't want to say I was depressed and like trigger anyone but like for me I was depressed in my opinion. I was going through the footage and I deleted it all so we can't go back. I've made the executive decision to not upload any of those videos just because guys, it was really triggering for me to watch the footage back and I don't want to trigger anyone else. So that's not to say that we're ignoring anxiety, that we're ignoring depression, that we're ignoring mental health. That is like going to always be a topic of discussion here in my vlogs specifically. I'm in a better headspace right now. I think the fact that the wedding, the reception is now over so I don't need to plan that anymore with Mike. And also the fact that like Mike and I went away for two weeks after not having taken any time off of work this entire year. I got to escape my reality for two weeks. We went to Greece, Mykonos, Santorini, and Paros. Had the best time, had so much fun. I've been trying to just like keep my mental health and physical health good since leaving for Greece and like I've come home, I'm back at work, but I wake up early every day to make sure that I read something, that I do skincare, that I work out, just something for me every morning, which I've found has really been helping. We're gonna talk about things that help throughout this vlog, throughout upcoming vlogs, but I have a lot of really exciting things that are coming up this week. Halloween soiree in New York City, which is gonna be so, so fun. I ordered a vampire costume because Mike and I are gonna be vampires. I ordered it from Amazon, which you and I will try on today. I'm also gonna visit my dad today, which I'm not gonna film that. So I don't know if you guys have read the book Atomic Habits by James Clear, but I've read it several times and I typically read it in January to help set myself up for success that year. But basically what the book is about is habit stacking. Well, there's a bunch of different things that it's about, but the one that I take from it the most is habit stacking. So you might be thinking like, what the hell is habit stacking? You take a habit that you do every day and you stack another habit on top of it that you would like to become your habit. So every morning, I'll just give you a really quick rundown of my routine. I wake up, I throw my robe on, I put my slippers on, I put my Apple watch on, I come downstairs, I pour myself a cup of coffee, I let my cat out from the basement, I give him treats, and then my stacking kind of commences. So once I have my cup of coffee, I have the choice, because I like to give myself choices because I like to listen to myself in the morning. So once I have my coffee poured, I can either do a skincare routine, read a book, or I can journal, or I can meditate. So something that is good for my mental health. And then once I've done whatever one I've chosen, I make the bed, I tidy up the bedroom. And then once I'm done with that, I stacked putting my workout clothes on right after that so that I can go ahead and hop into my workout and move on with my day. If you're someone that struggles with anxiety, I find that if I need to think about all the things that I need to do, because I was doing this for a while, I was waking up and making a to-do list and I found that the to-do list was kind of crippling. Like it was like, I would write down all the things that I need to do. And instead of just doing them, doing the action of them, I would sit there and then think like, oh my God, I have so many things to do. And then I would get distracted and I would end up doing something else and not check off my to-do list. So I do do a to-do list, but I do that later on in the morning once I've done the things that make me feel good. Do you know what I'm saying? So like instead of waking up, sitting down and writing workout, skincare routine, like I don't write that down anymore. It's kind of just become a habit 
that I don't need to think about. I threw on my workout clothes for the day. I don't know, you can't see, hello. Um, these pants are really comfortable. I'll link them down below. I got them at Dick's. I went to go return something for Mike and I ended up browsing and I found them and they're really, really comfortable. They have pockets and everything. Um, so I'm gonna do a 30 minute workout. I will link it down below. It's like a low impact Pilates inspired workout by Gaining Anna's. I just feel very groggy today. I got my period yesterday. I feel like I say that a lot in my videos, but honestly, I get it like every three and a half weeks, which really sucks, um, but that's where I'm at today. So I'm not really feeling great. So I wanna do something where I move my body and I don't have to think about it. And it's not like totally exhausting. I also have this water bottle. Once I'm done drinking both cups of coffee because I drink two cups of coffee in the morning, I immediately fill this so that I start drinking. I gotta be honest, we are all plants. And I was feeling like a sad plant for a little while. I wasn't hydrating myself. I wasn't moving myself. I wasn't getting enough sunlight. So I just find that like drinking a minimum of 64 ounces of water a day really makes me feel good. So this is 32 ounces. I drink two full ones of these. I often have tea or something else as well. But as long as I have filled and drank two of these, I feel good about it. And I find that it really makes me feel good inside. And if my insides are feeling good, my brain is feeling good and my mental health is just on track. After my workout, I make myself something to eat, which is another habit stack that I've been doing because quite frankly, I like was not eating in the depths of my anxiety. So this is just a habit stacking thing that I've been doing just to make sure I get something in my system, ground turkey. And then I made two fried eggs and this is my little breakfast slash early lunch. Typically I would do like two pieces of mutts as well with a little bit of olive oil, but I think Mike finished all the mutts cause I couldn't find them in the fridge. So this is what I'll be eating. And I'm gonna throw some of this nutritional, nutritional yeast on top. This doesn't look very appetizing on top. Hello, a lot has happened since I last saw you. I showered, got dressed, drank 32 ounces of water, then had 16 ounces. So I have another 16 ounces of water left, but I just got home. I'm about to cook dinner. I wanted to show you the outfit that I wore today. This is just like a basic little turtleneck that's like thermal from Gap that I bought last year. These earrings that I got at TJ Maxx forever ago. I think I got these like workout pants on Amazon. Ooh, clearly my mirror is dirty. I'm gonna have to clean this later. I'm gonna get changed though really quick because I'm gonna cook dinner. Senor, senor, are you gonna help me cook? I think that's a no. Do you think you'll help me cook dinner? Oh, my handsome boy, I love this face of yours. I'm gonna be cooking chicken and sometimes I just like don't like the way that it smells. Um, and then this candle is from Yankee Candle. I love it, Mike hates it. Moon beams on pumpkins. We got this really cute Halloween bowl with bats. Love bats. I've always been obsessed with bats. And then I bought this at Target. It was like $5. A little like paint it yourself guy that I painted and I did a decent job, not a great job, but there's that. And then we always use these little like skull coasters, 365 throughout the year, but very appropriate for Halloween, gotta get rid of that tea bag. Okay, so I'm making skillet chicken with mushroom wine sauce. Literally, whenever I'm making dinner, I just go on Pinterest because that's where I save all the recipes. Um, and I picked this because I didn't need to go and buy too many ingredients, which usually dictates what it is I cook and don't cook. So I'm not gonna film this whole thing. I'll show you snippets, but this is guaranteed to be a hot mess. I am not the chef of this family. Michael definitely cooks way more than I do. However, today was a rare day where he had to commute into New York City and moi did not. So I thought it'd be nice and cook him some dinner. So let's go ahead and cook him some dinner. Ooh. 
voila. I hope it tastes better than it looks. It's my girl. Yeah. All right, tell the people how it is. Looks delish. Oh, your head's getting cut off. Oh, as you should. Oh, please. Okay, well, the angle is terrible. Better. Is that better? First bite, the chicken looks cooked. Mm. Is it good? Are you just saying that? I think it's good. In hopes that I cook again. Thanks, baby. I'm a little chef. Is it good? Oh, wow, it's not bad. It tastes like chicken and um, marsala. Yeah, yeah, it does. That's not what it's called, though. I'm putting salt on it, though. But it's not bad. I feel like the time spent, it should be more flavorful. But, oh well. I think it's good. You tried. Next time. Good morning. Okay, tell them what you just said that Wait, I missed. What, what I just said? That it's delicious. Did I say that? You did. You said it's delicious. I don't remember saying that. No, I'm just kidding. It's really delicious. Wow, thank you. I don't... I'm very impressed. Are you? With your cooking skills two nights in a row. And I'm more impressed that you cook two nights in a row. And I went to shop right two days in a row. <laughs> you went to shop right two days in a row. I know. It's all very impressive. My tryouts for being a stay-at-home wife. It's delicious. I think he'll say yes. I'm sorry that I didn't vlog all day today, but I'm going to show you guys what I made for dinner. I made a creamy spinach artichoke chicken skillet. And I'll let you know how it tastes, but it looks pretty damn good. Thoughts? It's really good. Except? Hmm? Except? I think the chicken's a little overcooked. Otherwise, it's good. What was your favorite so far? Um, I like chicken parma. It was like standard. I like this a lot. Oh wow, better than the mushroom one. 
I think the mushroom was my least favorite one. Mm. Okay. Thank you for your feedback. Good morning. Cheers to a brand new day. Me, Mike, and Mike's brother Brian are all in at our house today working and I keep hearing like the Outlook email notification between the three of us and I keep like, I don't know, do you have that feeling when you get like a work email sound or like a Slack sound? It's just like your heart goes to your stomach. That's where I'm at. Like work has been so, so insane. So I've been pretty crappy at vlogging the last few days. I really apologize. But like I said, I've been so busy with work and also really busy with YouTube stuff. Like I said, I did a pretty crap job of filming the last couple days, but I did show you guys like my morning routine and apparently what I've been cooking all week, which I normally never cook, like ask my husband, I don't cook. He is typically someone calling me now. Oh my God, heart in my stomach. He's typically the one that cooks, but this week I've been working from home, which is just like so game changing. Like I find that I put in more time when I work from home. I'm working longer hours, but just the fact that I get to work from the comfort of my own home, I can go and throw a load of laundry in. I can clock out at 5.36, go to ShopRite, cook dinner. And then if I have to go back on, do it. Like it doesn't bother me as much because I haven't had to leave the home. It's definitely a mental thing, but I really enjoy working from home and I wish I could do it all the time. This week was definitely a one-off. But yeah, I don't normally cook, but I hope that you enjoyed my recipes. All the stuff that I cooked this week will be listed down below. I really didn't love last night's dinner, but Mike really liked it. So take that with a grain of salt. Him and I typically have very different taste buds. We like different things. Like if he drinks something and likes it, I typically don't like it. Same with eating, very weird, but it ends up working out because, you know, we don't dip into one another's food. And if I don't like something, he'll eat it. So what was I saying? Today we are looking like this for a bit. I'm gonna try and work out. I need to get ready. Today we're going to a Yankee game, which is super fun. I'm not a big sports fan, quite honestly, but I live for like a sport, a sporting event. Like I like going to the sporting events. So that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna to take you guys along. I'm hoping to like work out, get some work done before then. But I just wanted to chat and say hi because I haven't said hello to you in quite a few days in this vlog. <laughs> Good morning. I never showed you my Halloween outfit because I never tried it on. Um, and it's the day of the Halloween party, so I had to try it on this morning. Also, Mike took the recycling, so I wanted to get rid of all of the boxes. Um, I literally just woke up and threw this on because he told me he was going to the recycling center and I wanted to get rid of the box that this was in. But this is super cute. I got it on Amazon. I will link it down below. It's two pieces. This is like a bustier. And then I put the skirt that it comes with over it, but it's two separate pieces. And it's super cute. I mean, granted, I will look scarier and more vampiric than this, but like this bustier is really cute. And it's said to size up. So I'm usually a small and I sized up to a medium, which I'm happy I did because this bustier, I hope you can see like the, here, let me see if I can zoom in, the uh, lace detailing, but this has no give. So just so you know, if you go to buy it, super cute. I really like it. And I'm excited to see how I look like a vampire. Like I said, I bought fake teeth, vampire teeth, um, and my cute little headband, but I'll save putting it all together until I'm all ready. But I'm excited about this, it should be a good time. Oh God, the lighting in here is not great. The setup is not great, but the show must go on because I don't have a lot of time. I'm turning myself into a vampire. I had no time to film this look and I'm wearing fangs, hence the lisp, but I am like so happy with how my makeup came out and I love the fangs. I'll link them down below, a lot more difficult than I thought they were gonna be. And like, also look at this headband. Everything I'm wearing, aside from my makeup, is from Amazon. I'll go ahead and show you guys the outfit, except for the shoes. They're not from Amazon, but the bustier. It's adorable. Scary headband with the skulls. Oh my God, it's so cute. And spiders. Um, the bustier and the skirt. And then I just threw some fishnets on and some black heels. I'll get Mike to show you guys in better lighting, but I'm very, yeah, I'm living for this, loving this. I would love to look like this all the time. Video. I need a video of my outfit. 
Okay, do a twirl. A twirl? Okay. 60 pints. Make a scary face. like the morning after being a sexy vampire um my glasses are so dirty i can't even see i've done a really terrible job at filming this vlog i gotta be honest i'm really in the mood to do nothing i drank a decent amount last night but i also think that the fact that like we went to this soiree and every room had a different drink like whose idea is that just the mixing of the different alcohols is not a game i ever play um but it was the game I played last night, and so I kind of feel like crap, but I'm sitting here. I woke up really late. It's 9 a.m. Um, having my coffee. I spilled my coffee creamer all over the floor. As I was shaking it, it just like escaped my hands. It went everywhere. I should have took a video. You should have seen it. Brogan was sitting by the sink. He always like sits on the mat by the sink because I keep his cat treats under the sink. And every morning he goes and he sits on the mat and waits for me to, to make my cup of coffee because that's our routine. I wake him up. I don't wake him up. I let him up from the basement in the morning. Um, he comes upstairs. I make my cup of coffee. As soon as my coffee is made, he gets treats. Not that he deserves them. I love him very much, but he's a bad boy. I felt bad because he was sitting <laughs> on the mat and I spilled the creamer everywhere. And you had to see he had like chocolate creamer on his forehead. It was really cute. Um, He licked it off, but... Yeah, so I got a comment on my Instagram yesterday from Carolina, who I went to high school with, and she asked me if I could do a vlog on how I stay motivated with workouts. So I think that's going to be the next vlog, so stay tuned for that. And it's not like motivation to just work out. I think it's just like motivation for everything. When you create enjoyable experiences in your life, um... You tend to be consistent with them. So I'm gonna do like a consistency, like how to stay consistent vlog. I'm not perfect at it. It's definitely something that I'm working on. You yourself know if you've been watching my videos, like my consistency with uploading YouTube videos. I've always uploaded them, but I've had like spotty consistency. Um, so that's definitely something that I'm working on. I'm also working on being consistent with learning Italian because I used to be really consistent with it. But then, you know, when things are hard, and as things get hard, we tend to not enjoy them. We like to do things that are easy for us. Yeah, so yeah, consistency. We're going to talk about that in the next vlog. So I'm going to stop talking about it right now. The soiree last night was fun. It was kind of scary, but it wasn't like too scary. I would say like a, a 6 out of 10 on the scare, Richter. Um, there was like this one part where they did like a seance and this lady put on like the terrifying mask and then this other like demon came out and was like eating someone that was probably the scariest thing and then there was a little like is it burlesque like burlesque-esque dancing um that was cute not cute but i enjoyed it and yeah most of all i'm gonna be honest i really just enjoyed my outfit i looked fire okay fire i had a fun time i'm not having a fun time today though i'm really not a big drinker like drinking for me is like two glasses of wine, half a bottle of wine tops, and that's not a common occurrence. So I'm kind of feeling it today. So I should probably take some Advil. Yeah.